My name is Mark Russell, and this is why I fly. I'm the Glenn Research Center Aviation Safety Officer and Research Pilot. There's uh, different kinds of pilots at NASA. There's research pilots, others are test pilots, and of course there are also astronauts who will fly as pilots. So all technology uh, in America is generally follows technical readiness levels, TRLs. At NASA, TRL 1 is some smart person in a lab comes up with an idea and says, I want to do this. By the time you get to TRL 10 at NASA, it's somewhere up in space. It's not a satellite, it's not the International Space Station, it's going to the moon. Here, at this operation, we're mid-level TRL. So we're three, four, five, maybe six on that scale. We take airplanes, we modify them to do either communication studies, uh, sometimes icing studies, and we go fly them around different places and collect data that is hopefully useful to the science community at large. I learned to fly in the Navy in the Turbo Mentor. I was in graduate school doing genetic type engineering work. Instead of doing the second round of experiments, I'd look out the window and I'd consistently see these A-10s flying by at Westover Air Force Base. And I'm like, I want to do that. After about 15 years into my Navy career, I got an email from a friend and they said something about being a NASA pilot. I started to ask people around, I'm like, is this a good deal? And they're like, it's a great deal, you should go do it. You don't have to have a technical degree to get into the military, but to be a NASA pilot, you need a technical degree and a lot of flight experience. So there's about 50 NASA pilots in the country and the, those jobs are very much at a premium. The hardest plane I've flown is the Super Guppy. I was uh, humbled a lot in that airplane. Currently at NASA, only 30% of the astronaut corps are pilots. There's a 70% gap in, in people who probably have not been upside down in an airplane, probably have not been um, tumbled in, in loops, and, and what I do to them, I put them in spins. So a spin is a very specific maneuver where you stall the airplane, so not like an engine stall, it's an aerodynamic stall, and it causes the plane to flip over and then start into an auto-rotating 45 degree down spin. And then we'll put in the counter spin rotation to stop it. The purpose of doing this to somebody is to scare them, to make them uncomfortable, but also to get them to be in that environment where, okay, we're not a control flight, but I can still function because we need astronauts to be able to do that. And then you have two types of people. You have one that says, that was great, let's do it again. And you have another type of person who's like, I never want to see that ever again. And my job, because I'm that person, is we go back up and do it again. You know, honestly, other than doing NASA now and the Navy before, I, I'm not a hobbyist in, in terms of aviation. It's just part of my work life. It's a good job, though.